wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the dreaded D-Rose report. I go back to, get too excited, I guess. Hey, uh, let's just start it off and get this out of the way. Former WWE star Sheldon Benjamin turns 36 years old today. Former WCW and WWE star Mark Merrill turns 51. Kevin Ash turns 52. Independent wrestler Rodney Kellum, uh, he's expected to get a tryout with WWE before Raw or uh, SmackDown tapings, I guess, while they're in the Northeast. Uh, Kellum does a gimmick similar to Abdullah the Butcher. Why would you do that? Why on earth? Why? All right, found this article. It says Sharon Stone has been issued an odd challenge by the boy she babysit as a teenager. Sharon Stone revealed that uh, she was asked to host WWE's SummerSlam TV Spectacular for his 50th birthday. So, Jim Burkhart, let's go on with this, who uh, was born with Down Syndrome, uh, has always maintained a close relationship with the famous uh, and former babysitter, and now wants to do, her to do something special for him. He wants her to host SummerSlam Wrestling Show for his birthday next year, and uh, Sharon Stone told uh, Extra. Uh, the actress hadn't made it clear if she is uh, considering the request or if you know she's even been in negotiation with the organizer of the 2012 SummerSlam event. But uh, my biggest thing, wouldn't you love to have Sharon Stone as your babysitter? My, that would be my wish. Stand the man with stopwatch hand send there were 17 minutes 12 seconds of in-ring action on last week's uh, Thursday's WWE Superstar. This was down from the previous weeks. Uh, Big Show, by the way, if you watch this, uh, he's going to be guest starring on USA's uh, Network Burn Notice this coming Thursday. I can't remember whether he's been on there a few times or not. Uh, I think so. I know other people have. As uh, noted before, WWE is looking to hire a new vice president of talent, uh, talent relations. This uh, person will work under senior vi VP of talent relations, John Laronitis, which is the guy that once you're hired, you never want to hear from again. And uh, anyway, is, uh, he'll be his main assistant as Tyler Bailey, which is now, is being moved to a new position in Triple H's new talent development system. Woo, that sounds like it's high tech. Something. All right, uh, this is sad. TNA knockout uh, tag team champion Serena, uh, Serena announced on the following on her uh, Facebook account on Friday that she suffered some recently some facial uh, paralysis and missed her schedule, uh, scheduled matches in Mexico. She did, however, note that uh, she's recovering. Uh, in an update on the condition, uh, it appears that she's going to be fine and she's planning on appearing in next week's uh, impact taping in Orlando. Uh, so I, I would never notice that she had any kind of facial paralysis because I usually don't make it up that high. Sorry. Uh, the July 7th episode of Impact uh, Wrestling scored a 1.11 cable rating down from 1.27 the prior week. The, draw, uh, the show, uh, show uh, drew around 1.6 million viewers over the two-hour course, down from 1,800,000 viewers a week before. Hang on a second. All right, let's try this one more time. Uh, Mr. Anderson and Mr. T uh, Miss Tessmacher, they're going to be advertised uh, to appear at the Direct Auto Insurance, in, let me see, Peters Creek Parkway, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, on Friday, July 22nd, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and man, 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 she'd be worth the drive. TNA performer uh, Sarah, well, already, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sarita is a real name, Sarah Stock, thought I'd let you know. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to read some of this off to you. This may shock the crap out of you, but here are some VIP packages for WrestleMania. Three-night hotel accommodations. Uh, anyway, the com uh, accommodations is uh, for one person, one person to go. Now, I don't know whether this is with tax or without, but it's $2,918. If it's with tax, you might as well say three grand, one person. Uh, two people is going to be t a little over twenty-five hundred per person. Get a little discount uh, unless you're taking your wife or girlfriend, and you're going to have to pay for both tickets. 
Uh, three people, twenty, uh, a little under twenty-four hundred per person. Four people, twenty. Uh, I might as well say twenty-four, right at twenty-four hundred per person. All right, VIP package. Those are four-night hotel accommodations, lower level, one hundred raw, uh, lower level, lower level, one hundred. This, uh, why well, it says raw tickets, but anyway, this. Uh, uh, let me see here. Let me get down to where I'm at uh, on uh, each person. Oh, the pre, uh, the platinum package. Each person in this group, maximum of four people per person uh, per group. Will you got that? For each person in the group, maximum of four people per group will receive uh, WrestleMania 28 tickets. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, seating within uh, ringside floor levels, row five through twelve. Sound like it. I mean, this may be worth it uh, if you're really into wrestling. Plus, a collectible chair. I don't know if it's the one you're sitting on or whether the, they give you one. Uh, then it says uh, Sun Life Stadium. I don't know why that is. Oh, this is on Sunday, April 1st. Uh, four night tickets. The uh, seating uh, uh, within stadium section, level 100. Uh, anyway, then they got the American Airlines Arena. I guess this is some other stuff that's uh, going on too. WrestleMania access tickets, uh, choice of uh, two general admission tickets, uh, Miami Beach Convention Center. This is some stuff that's all you know pretty much included in the um, $2,400, $2,500. Uh, and then you get, uh, well, round trip bus transportation, uh, downtown uh, Miami Hotel to and from Sun Life Stadium. Sunday, April 1st, uh, you, oh, you get a, also a $25 gift card, which might get you. I don't even know if it'll get you one t-shirt. Uh, each person in the group uh, share one standard room uh, downtown Miami Hotel. Uh, check in Friday, uh, March 30th. You get the hell out of there March 2nd. The Platinum Package is a three-night combination. This is a little bit lower. One person is $2,000 uh, and it goes up. But anyway, it would be a hell of a deal if you got the money to do. and. Uh, I'd love to be down there myself. But I'm going to be sitting here probably telling you what's going on. All right, what else have I got here? Um, uh, TMZ uh, is reporting, this is uh, earlier in the week, Scott Hall checked himself into the uh, county jail to begin his sentence of, uh, from a 2010 arrest for drunken disorderly conduct in a Florida bar. Uh, Hall, who will be staying at the medical unit, in the jail due to his bad health is sentenced to 10 days in jail and will likely serve about two days due to time served you know previously so could be out oh well he probably is out but now but i haven't seen anything about it all right punk responded to a controversy on his twitter he says i'm glad tmz posted the video oh they were talking about the uh him uh, calling the uh person it's it was supposed to be a slur, but I don't really think homo, that's what he called him. He didn't call him a fag or whatever. He called, uh, he says it was careless words and he hoped he didn't hurt anybody. But he called, and this was over in, um, uh, down under in uh, uh, Australia. He called somebody uh, homo, homo. Well, homo is short for the word, you know, the whole word homosexual. Which if you're gay, you are a homo and a homosexual. You're both. But uh, in order for him to call this person home, he's got to stay in heel. And they got this anti-bullying thing, but no matter what, a heel in wrestling has to be a bully. He's got to push people around, he's got to call them names, he's got to uh, do whatever. But i never seen what caused CM Punk to call this kid a homo, or this man, whoever it was. Uh, that I would like to see a tape of, just to see what, you know, I mean, the guy could have told him to, but uh, he would have been a homo. I don't know, but uh, I'd still like to see a film of it. But anyway, now I'm done rambling on here for about 20 seconds. Uh, just wanted to get my little opinion out. But uh, thank you guys for clicking. Uh, talk to you Monday. I gotta go.